You've met them? I was just asking Benjamin here how he's enjoying the family home. Things could be easier not having this conversation. You're gonna have to at some point. Why didn't you move in? Because deep down, I'm just like him. Toxic. Tell me his opening gambit. He was nice to me when he didn't have to be. Nothing like the threat of imminent homelessness to oil the wheels of romance. She'll never trust us again. So just sit on it? But as still we forget about it. Or we build a watertight case against him. You're calling him, aren't you? It's none of your business. The number you have dialed has not been recognised. It feels a bit like you've got some woman stashed away. Is that really what you think? I was joking. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? It, it didn't really feel like it. I think I'm too old for this. Being in love. You're not in love with him. Would it be the worst thing in the world? I'm thinking we follow him. Betrayal. There's nothing quite like it. Everything that felt solid suddenly shifts. You look at people differently. Even the ones you love. Especially the ones you love. And this thing gnaws at you. Like a voice in your head saying, over. Don't trust anyone. I don't have long. Guest coming around? Or a guest. Is it the famous Benjamin? There's so much I want to know about him. You don't get to talk about Benjamin. No, no. I guess I don't. <clears throat> Thank you for the card. It's what people do. How's Callie holding up? Not her favourite day. Hmm. She must miss her dad. But we'll do our thing. I keep hoping one year we'll skip the graveyard part and head straight for the boozy lunch, but she remains staunchly religious. I think it's to spite me. You wouldn't come with us, would you? <laughs> Absurd idea. <laughs> Ignore me. I assumed that Ted would be going with you. No, he... It's not a day for him. He doesn't even remember. It's been ten years. And you haven't told him? We don't have that sort of... relationship. What a grown-up one. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, I thought I was rather restrained. Perhaps it's best if we steer clear of all things Ted-related. I didn't bring them up. Uh, you did, actually. Either way... I don't want to fight. Not today. Clayton was a good man. Uh, no, he was not. He was a bastard. But he was my bastard. So absurd the way we eulogize the dead. Everyone's fucking angelic the moment they get into the ground. Promise me right here, right now, you will only tell the truth about me. I think I can manage that. <laughs> what is true about Clayton, though, is he was a good father. He was a better father than I am a mother. That'd be ridiculous. Whereas you, you're like some cut-out template of the perfect mother. 
You're kind and you listen. I think my own children would dispute that. You never could take a compliment. Feels like forever ago, doesn't it? A pair of them playing Robin Hood with those crappy plastic bows and arrows. <laughs> Do you remember Leo insisting that I plaited his hair for it? <laughs> you did make a lovely maid, Marion. <laughs> I've missed this. Oh, you are something else, you really are. I didn't mean to. You can never Stop. take something for what it is. It's a coffee. Because it's a shitty day for you, that's I know, all. I'm not Do you know that you've any... never actually said sorry to me in a whole year? As if what you As if it doesn't actually merit an apology. Do I want to be forgiven? Obviously. Should I be? Well, that's up to you. He was my husband. And you were my best friend. Sorry, I uh, thought I heard Julia. Uh, yeah, she's, um, she's, um... I'm, I'm Benjamin. I imagine you are. I'm, I'm um, a friend of Julia's, and I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> Should I be worried? <laughs> Hardly. I like you already. You're early. Sorry. Couldn't wait. Uh, do I need to do introductions, Benjamin? This is Marsha. Marsha. The Marsha. The one and only. <clears throat> Callie! Do I go without me? Were you? I didn't think you'd. What? Remember? Of course you'd remember. So why aren't you waiting for me? You two are looking very conspiratorial. What am I missing? Nothing. OK, well, me and you, lunch. She's in a sunny mood, as usual. Where you been, darling? Um, car needed a valet. Look, I've got to shoot. Sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't allow myself regrets. What ifs? That way, danger lies. A reckoning where you have to face yourself. What you've done.
I am allowed to miss him too. outside all day, because I do have a few ideas of how to kill the time. This is a surprise. A nice one. Is everything OK? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Hi, Adela. Patrick, you all right? We need to speak to you. Sounds ominous. In private. Do you mind? No, of course not. I'll just go for a walk or something. Just call me if you need anything. Sure, everything. It's, uh, it's Benjamin. Kids have demanded a private audience. <laughs> Hop in, I'll give you a lift. Yeah, I'm all right walking, thanks. I preferred it when you liked me. Yeah? Well, you conveniently forgot to mention who you actually were. You're right, I should have led with. Hi, I'm the one who betrayed your lover and stole her husband. Super to meet you. Let's do brunch. Get in. Uh, there is no easy way of saying this. Who died? Have you just woken up? Define just. Patrick, can we... What's with the visit? We, uh... Well, um... Della and I, we were... out. And we happened to, uh... Believe me, we did not want to see anything. It... Just... show her already. Um... I'm really sorry, ma'am. Oh, shit me, I was right. This is about so... Mum, not you, dickhead. Right about what? About him. About Benjamin. That he's... Up to no good. I'm sorry, Mum. You don't deserve this, Mum. You know that, right? There's some con artist going around targeting old women. She's not old. What is wrong with you? Then you say I have no tact. No, no, look, I, I didn't mean old, old. I just... Look, the point is, he's out dating other women the same age as Mum for, for, for some kind of uh, nefarious ends. I, I can only imagine a financial seeing as... Um, He's due to be evicted. We have proof, if you don't believe us. Where to? Village, I suppose. <laughs> One rule in life, never in the Aston. I imagine they aren't desperately pleased about your union. That's nobody's business but ours. Quite right, too, in theory. In reality, relationships can only stay private for so long before every 
fucker and his dog has an opinion. And those dogs in particular, they're tenacious ones. Are you calling Julia's kids dogs? <laughs> All I can say is watch your back. They're exceptionally protective of their mother. With good reason in your case. Go on then. Tell me how that happens, the whole stealing your best friend's husband thing. Sadly for you, we're nearly there, and it's a long story. It's all right. Your notes will do me fine. I'm enjoying your hostility, by the way. It's very naked. so inelegantly done, and that's an understatement. Oh, you'd have done a better job, would you? Yes. Mum, are you... are you OK? I am OK. What are you going to do? Break up with him, obviously. Do it when he gets back, Mum. I think I should speak to him. You can't break up with someone on someone else's behalf, unless you're 12. And even then... I just don't want Mum to feel she's on her own, if that's OK with you. I can look after Mum. Enough! Thank you for telling me. I think for now I just want to be by myself. Headlines. I was married. We moved here for his work. He died. How? Oh. Sorry. It's none of my business. No, oh, long time ago, and I'm uh, immune to emotion. We'd rowed. White wine row about nothing. He went out to the garden with more wine, a cigar, I stayed in, furious, started watching Poirot. <laughs> we got to the first ad break, and then the next, and I thought, you stubborn bastard. So I got up, walked outside, and... He was on the grass, face down, heart attack. I could never get them to tell me how long it had taken, which is a giveaway. How do you mean? If I'd have gone out sooner, he would have survived. Unhelpful. To think that way. After that, it was just Callie and me. I never had anyone else. Then she went to uni. That first night, when it was just me, I lost my shit. Thought well, you didn't do emotion. We'd been meant to have dinner, the three of us, but I rang Julia, cancelled, I couldn't face it. Ted didn't get the message came over, saw me, held me. Then... kissed me. And that's that, isn't it? Once you've crossed that line, you've crossed it. The really terrifying thing is how easy it is to do. 
In my defense, their marriage was not a good one. Whatever they might say about it now, it was cold. Neither of them deserve that. They were together 35 years. I've known them for 34 of those. What were they like then? As a couple. Good to see even the young aren't immune to jealousy. Jealous of who? Ted, come on. Look, I get it, believe me. Especially with the timing. Timing? The divorce coming through right as she introduces you onto the scene. Which you didn't know. Of course I did. Just don't think the two things are related, that's all. Oh, that's hope not for all of our sakes. <sighs> if I were you, I'd go back bearing gifts. Why are you being helpful? She deserves to be happy. And if she's happy, you're off the hook. Lily's her favorite. I was turfed out before I could get my wallet, so. Oh. <clears throat> well. Should do it. Thanks. Better not linger. People will talk. Hello? It's me, Julia. <laughs> I know. Thank you for yesterday. Would you sleep with him? With who? Benjamin. Why'd you ask that? Would you or wouldn't you? Uh, no, no. Uh, no, I wouldn't, actually. And not just because of you. He's, uh, he's just not a type I go for. Well, you can see why I would or... Or why other women would? Yes, uh, he's, he's very charming. And... Coast clear. We might need flowers. Where's that? Well, five hour drive from London. They weren't exactly brimming with warmth towards me when they arrived, so taken together, I'm thinking bad news since then. Just tell me what they said. Nothing about you. Don't worry. And why did I need to be banished? Well, banished is a little strong. They're my favorite. How did you know? Good guess. Um, the kids just wanted to talk. 
update about the villa. Patrick had worked himself up, thinking that we were going to make a love nest out of Sorry. it, and he wouldn't get a look in. You have a villa? Uh, just outside of Orvieto. Lucky you. How come you never mentioned it? <laughs> um, I've always found talking about money a bit garish. Truth is, I've lots of it, and... I've never wanted for it, which in a, itself is, well, garish. So I'm dating a millionaire. I hate that word. <laughs> yeah. You don't find that terribly disgusting. I'll take you however you can. For richer or poorer. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably <be> richer. <laughs> <laughs> Tales of London. Dull without you. That's all you need to know. Works full on. Zach's on some kind of power trip at the moment. Any nights out? Dinners? Debauchery? No. Just pine for you. Do you find Della attractive? Your daughter, Della. Yeah. She's closer in age to you than me. Yes, she is. So you do find her attractive? No, I didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> I, th I think she's a very pretty girl. She's just not the kind that I would go for. No. Because you prefer the mothers to the daughters. Okay. Right? I think that somebody's <laughs> had enough red wine. <clears throat> Sorry. Not even mothers. Grandmothers. Tell me something, Benjamin. Am I your first? All of us at once, her is almost admirable. If it wasn't so fucking contemptible, so pathetic, a young man like you, about to be evicted, and you're pimping yourself out. That's what the kids drove all the way down here to tell you, is it? And you, and you didn't no. think to just ask me about it? I'm asking you. No, no, you're not. You're going postal. That was a work dinner. She was a client. I didn't realize that I needed your permission. Bench. Take one for the team with Lady Shenbrook, will you? The Harrod hen keeps threatening to yank the account. And as we all know, you've got away with the Blue Rings Brigade. Cheers, Zach. So... And yes, yes, I've missed a few bills and I've been put on notice of my flat, but none of that, none of that gives you the right to burn my, my shit like some fucking crazy witch!
Please don't do this. What was that, Julia? That, that apocalyptic reaction? Where, where is that coming from? Who is that about? Because the only thing that he's saying to me is that you don't trust me. You're right. But I don't trust anyone. I'm not a... I haven't done what he did. And what she did. What either of them did. You, your, your kids, you are all angry at the wrong person. You haven't been completely honest, though, have you? When was I supposed to tell you? At the, what? At the, at the hotel? In, in the museum, maybe? When? When? Is it really so bad that I just wanted to forget that first day I, I didn't have to be saddled with my own worries and debts and all of my shit and I, I could just be... I could just be me. How did you get so behind Benjamin? Ali, she asked me to move in with her and I could not think of a time when that wouldn't be okay. And then it wasn't. So I ended up sleeping on my friend's sofas until I got my crappy one bed. Just couldn't seem to do much. What level of debt are you talking about? Oh, you know, I'm in an eviction, bailiffs, my phone's been cut off. And you don't have any family that you can ask for help? But how much to get you out of it? No, 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 no way. I am not giving your kids any more rope down me with. It's none of their business. Relying on somebody else is just... It never ends well. If you get the wrong person. I won't hurt you like he did. I'm sorry. I love you. That's off to you, Ma. You know how to break up in style. <laughs> Shouldn't be spending your money on me. You're very sweet. Mm. Patrick, show me up again. Uh, no. They're not from Patrick. They're from Benjamin. He's here, isn't he? What's this in aid of?
Checking you got rid of me, no doubt. We can't blame them for being protective. Protective is, is one thing. Zealous is... They spied on me, Julie. They spied on me so that they could fill your head with lies. At some point we have to face it. They, they don't want us to be together. Cheers. Um, what's going on? What's he doing there? I wish, I wish that you'd spoken to me, Patrick. I know that you had my best interests at heart, so I just want to draw a line under this. All right? Mum, um, let me speak to you. I honestly, I think I underestimated how difficult it was going to be for all of you to see me with another man after your father. <laughs> Believe me, it is not that. I, I, I just want... Let me finish. And then there's the age gap, which clearly is impossible for any of you to fathom without assuming that Benjamin has, has some ulterior motive. Uh, he doesn't. Please, just... <sighs> Please just try and let me be happy. Uh, I, I want you to be happy more than anything, Mum, but he is not the other... Wangle another day off. No, stay, stay moving with me. Why pay for a flat you can't afford? I've got so much space. I've got an embarrassing amount. No. No, I can't. Not. No, I have pity. I can't. What about love? Hmm? Would love be an acceptable excuse? It's. It's quick. In a way. And in another way, not at all. Years I've wasted, not doing what I wanted, not snatching on to, to good things. You're a good thing. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, work, what would I, what would I do? What have you always wanted to do? You're going to think I'm such a square. I want... I want to go back to school. Not school, school, obviously. But a, a master's history. Go on. I well, know you want to laugh at me. I think if you want to do it, Benjamin, you should do it. You do have a way of making everything sound... 
easy. It can be. So will you? Will you move in with me? I should probably get back. A lot of loose ends to tie up if I'm moving in. What are you having? Beer, obviously. Coming right up. Stubbies, are you serious? Just because you're so, it doesn't mean you can flick these on the rest of us. <laughs> You hungry is plenty. You know me, can always eat. Callie, would you? Oh, be another place. Hey. <laughs> Leo, does your mum know you're eating here? Uh, she is otherwise engaged. Mm, is that man child over? Uh, can I stay here tonight? Yeah. You shouldn't be made to feel uncomfortable in your own home. I've got a mind to call her. Huh, and say what exactly? That she should think about the company she keeps. Oh, Benjamin's all right. Well, how would you know? Because we met. You met? Hmm, that's what I said. Uh, where was this? Julius. <sighs> enough with the Benjamin chat. Grim enough is in my house with my mum. He's right. We got better things to discuss, like... Do not say Brexit. Dad, I beg you, do not say that word. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bum a light? You know your mum hates you smoking. Oh, wow. Yes? Just you and your hypocrisy. Not that this hasn't been scintillating, but I'm going to go to the pub before closing. Callie? Uh, Mum, is it right if I... Yeah, go on. Have fun. Don't you crazy cats wait up? I wonder if those two are a good influence on each other. You mean Leo? Is Leo... Good influence on Cali. I'm tired. I'm going to do these in the morning. I'm fascinated to know how you ended up with my wife, my ex wife, and her new lover back at our house. Her house? It was just a coffee. It was hardly newsworthy. Yeah, the fact that you concealed it says otherwise. I didn't conceal it. Uh, you just didn't say, right. You are meant to rinse them first. Has it ever occurred to you why I might not have told you? Enlighten me. Ever since you found out about Benjamin, you've been... <laughs> I wish I could find another word for it, but I can't. You've been jealous. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You can't stand the fact that she's met someone else. I'm the one who left her. I know. I was there. I'm just trying to stop her humiliating herself. She's... It's laughable. Everyone thinks so. I don't. He is a child. Who gives a fuck what he is? He makes her feel good, which I, for one, am thrilled about because it means this is a chance we might be friends again. <laughs> this just gets better. Now you want to be friends with my ex. Do not walk out in the middle of a conversation. Marsha, I am talking to you. If I didn't know better, I think... I think you wanted her back.
to see Ted. I take it this isn't a social call. What happened to you? I fell. You fell onto your face. It's in the bag. <clears throat> This is from May. May. It's a circular. I think you'll recover. Why now? What's the occasion? Next time Leo stays the night. I'd appreciate a courtesy message, just so I don't worry. Yeah, I did ask him to call you. No, don't explain to her. She doesn't need an explanation. He's my son. And if he tells me that he wants to get away from you... Get away from me? From you and your boy. Leo wouldn't say that. Oh. Don't believe you. No, of course not, because you're the poor injured party, aren't you? Making sure that Patrick and Della don't even fucking pick up the telephone for me. Well, bad luck, as your... your poison hasn't worked on Leo. OK, I think we all need to calm down. These are our children we're talking about, not some pawns. Leo is on my side. <laughs> well, if you think it's so laughable, then why didn't he tell you about me and Marsha? Because he knew. For a whole year, he knew. And he never said a word to you. Don't be mad at Leo. The whole shitstorm of this is on. It's on Ted and me, not him, not anyone else. You've got something really good with, with Benjamin, something rare. Just please don't let this get in the way. When's the rest of your stuff coming? There is no rest. That's everything? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah? Yes, Leo. Benjamin is moving in. Well, you didn't think to consult me? I didn't think I needed to. No, no, of course not. It's not like I live here or anything. It's not like this is my family fucking home or anything. Don't speak to your mum like that. Wait till the others hear about this. It's next level betrayal. And you'd know all about that, wouldn't you?
You're quiet today. Why? Don't move. You and that camera. I want to remember this moment. That was Ali, I called her. We're getting married. What about Dad? This is really all about you getting revenge on me. <laughs> it would be easier if you'd admit you're still in love with me. When he leaves your mother, which he will, he'll be leaving with your inheritance. I want you to be protected. Did your father put you up to this? I'm starting to wonder whether you actually want to marry me or whether this is just some way of getting back at Ted. Yo! We're not kids anymore. Who do you think you are? This is my house. Not anymore. the same time next week. Riveting plot twists and black humour come together in a brilliant new comedy drama streaming now on BBC iPlayer. Can two brothers conceal their guilt? 